In this video, we're going to be taking a look at acceleration versus time graphs. We're not taking a look at any varying accelerations, only constant accelerations. One of the main things to keep in mind is that the accelerations are representations of the slope of your velocity versus time graphs. From there, we have three different areas where the line could fall into. If it is right on zero, right on your x-axis, that means there is no acceleration. That doesn't mean that the object isn't moving. It could be moving really quickly or slowly. It doesn't really provide us that information. It just tells us that there is no change in velocity. Therefore, it is constant velocity. If it is above zero, that's considered positive acceleration. Two different things could be happening from there. So one might assume that positive acceleration means that it's speeding up. In a lot of cases, that might be true. Um, it is speeding up if you are going in the positive direction because you are adding a positive number to an already positive number. Therefore, it's going to become greater and greater in the positive direction. On the other hand, it can actually be slowing down if it is going in the negative direction. So for example, if your velocity is negative 10 meters per second, and you are adding three meters per second every second, you are actually going to be decreasing your negative velocity. It's gonna go from negative 10 to negative seven to negative four and so on. So remember, negative is just showing the direction. So with your velocities, they're actually decreasing. They're getting closer to zero. For negative accelerations, it's the same kind of idea as positive, obviously, but everything's the opposite. So it can be speeding up if you're going in the negative direction. So if we're going off of this example right here, if we had a velocity of negative 10 meters per second and you are subtracting three meters per second every second, then it's gonna change negative 10 to negative 13 to negative 16 and so on, and you'll have a greater and greater negative velocity. It can also be slowing down if you are going in the positive direction Again, if you're going in the positive direction and you're adding a negative number, you are just decreasing that positive number. So it could mean speeding up or slowing down with a positive acceleration and a negative acceleration. So you really have to be careful at what um, in analyzing which direction you're going in initially and what effect it's gonna have on that velocity. It could speed it up or slow it down. But that pretty much sums it up for acceleration versus time graphs. Thanks for watching and listening.